Hey guys, this is White Nova here, and we're back again to part two of the Layers of Fear. Um, yeah, there were a couple of dialogues I was supposed to say in the first part, which is the graphics and <laughs> how I was supposed to finish off with the story from the part of the PT, you know, story how Danny was supposed to play the rest of the game because he didn't experience the rest of the fear but unfortunately I didn't think I was more terrified of the of you know the jump scares and I was just like preparing myself the entire time well right now I am actually getting myself ready because today is Friday the 13th and Friday the 13th is basically the gate the not, not the gate but the the day of the whole scary effect especially since early in the morning when I got out of work it was nothing but fog but <laughs> let's not talk in here let's continue on with the rest of the chapter and just like the image right there, that's the spot where we just left off. So, <laughs> we're still in the, the, uh, I guess it's the, uh, achievement room. Because that's the only thing I could think of with, like, little bits of parts, like, the chapter book here. Some images right here. The fact that we pick up a flesh room, um... The flesh piece right here. So anything else we were supposed to find more uh, bits of, I guess, the rest in the the whole um, rooms that we we're supposed to visit. Okay, that's a wooden board. Now, unfortunately, I wish I could have played the the game during dark, like, nighttime. But, unfortunately, my little cat didn't want to go to bed. And so, the few times I tried to put her to sleep, she wanted to actually play. And a few times she wanted to play, um, I ended up putting her into the bathroom. And I thought that would make her go to sleep, but every time I tried to practice talking huh an elevator yeah this ain't weird um my cat didn't want to go to sleep she wanted to still be out and play I think that's how you're supposed to do it Okay. Wait. Darn it, I think I missed it. Pass catches on. This is all I could get through. Now again, I kind of regret of not playing it in like early in the morning since I got out like really early because then I wouldn't have to hear birds. I wouldn't have to hear vehicles rooming around the the side of my apartment. But eh, nobody gets what they want, unfortunately. So right now, this is all I could do at this time. I'm just hoping right now it could be still quiet out there. But hey, I guess extra bonus on the scare factor if it if it happens, anyways. So.
Okay, why is nothing? Oh, that's not creepy at all. A tiny little room with all the pictures here. Let's see. Oh, shoot. Okay, spacebar. Dear sir, while I can certainly understand that you're upset and I have nothing but sympathy for you, wife, and yourself, I must categor categorize the state that I do not wish to receive any further consequences from you in this matter. Any skin graphic procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. How, have you stated that? I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne's have made everyone efforts to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possibly considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I am certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will elaborate the situation. As I've already stated, I am certain understand I certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as a late and thus will not press charges. If you refrain from any further correspondence, let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. G. Green, MD. So does something happen to the wife? Well, the door's not there anymore, but... Lights on there. Wait. Huh. Well, I was hearing whispers on this one, so... Oh, that's not creepy at all. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. Okay, come on. Oh. Something happened. Is that it or? I think that's about it. Okay, let's close this door. And I still don't like the blowing winds. Oh, that, that leaves the attic. And books. And a closet. Why am I here in like a fireplace, but maybe it's coming from up here? 
Oh. Okay, so let's see if there's anything here. No. Let's see if we go to the door here. Looks like it, but I don't know. Am I supposed to go to here? Just to make sure there's no key or... I can't see what that is down there. I'm not liking the wood floor, but it has a gave weight out of me. What the heck? Okay, if I'm the man, does that mean that the woman's this crying is my wife? Come on. My heart just stopped from that! Well, at least the crane stopped. Oh my god, my poor heart. Uh, I know I'm supposed to be more vocal. When it comes to this, especially since the last time I tried talking, I just sound so quiet. Warning signs. The following list is the complicate completion of uh, most common symptoms of schizophrenia. While typically diagnosed between the age of 50 and 25. The disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be Ooh, excuse me at the hiccups. Be treated as consecutive evidence of this particular affliction in order to obtain a proper diagnosis. You should contact a qualified specialist i.e. a psychologist uh Paeacarus? I'm not sure. Is that A or is that a S? No, that's. Is that an S? I can't see. But, uh. Just a uh, professional. A uh, blank expression, staring off into space, yes. Involuntary facial movement, yes. Insomnia, haven't noticed. Unusual gestures or posture, always had that. I'm kind of thinking, like, what does he mean by that? Unable to experience joy from activities, definitely. Depressionalization, what does that even mean? Awkward, clumsy movement. Might be from the accident. Prone to anger, resentment, more passive-aggressive. Lack of motivation, yes. Suicidal tendencies. Like, I guess that's a big question that he doesn't know of. Okay. So, three rooms. And I'm going to this one, because I just saw a big rat going through. And I can't go to here. Make up your mind. So, I guess I can't go to there. Oh, fruit bowl. Can't get the letter. Um, 
Let's see if the other one has that kind of way too. Oh, that's not a wall. That's a. <laughs> that's a. That's. I guess that's supposed to be the elevator, or is this supposed to be the uh, next room? Is just. It's just a wall. Okay. I'm in here. And it closed. Oh yeah, this is a graphic error. There's supposed to be a shadow behind this and all you see is just like like the outline shadow of the head. Graphic error, somebody needs to fix it. Why if you need to fix that? Okay. And there's more beer bottles. So I doubt this is the wife's doing. I think somebody here is a alcoholic. Okay. Nothing in the book case here. At least we had some light here. Come on. Come on. Nothing on these drawers. Let's try the next room. I can't go back there now. Oh. Oh, ew. That's nasty. Oh. Oh, it looks like I gotta get a password for that. Um. Oh, seven two nine. I ask for password and I get my answer. All right. Let's see. Oh wait, this is all ten digits though. So seven two nine. I gotta remember that. That's gotta be for something else. So I might have to come back in there a little bit later. I might as well because that door is broken. No. Can't really get in this one. I don't know. Maybe I should look around in there. Don't see anything else in here, but I guess I might as well have to go. Might have to go forward. Unless I take a gander at this. Oh. Nope. So I guess I gotta come back to that one later. But 729, I gotta still remember. That's gotta be something important. Maybe I'll get something to another save from it. Oh, okay. Just looking from the side, I thought it was some sort of demonic child. Come on. 
Come on. Rope. Someone's trying to be kinky. What the? Was it an image before? Okay, I guess that's the next room to go to, but I don't understand it. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a mirror effect. Let's see. So anything that says from this side, it might say something. Cannot be undone. So it's just repeated words. And I can't go back in there. Just like that, the poor pooches are all dead. Good boy. Honey, remember how you said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just bought us a dog. <laughs> Aww. That was supposed to be his way of saying, like, you know, uh, I got myself a dog. <laughs> oh. That kind of response? Because, honestly, that is hilarious. Uh. Looks like I can't get anything else. Next room. You wait this, you want this as well? Huh. Wheelchair. I guess that must be the wife's, cause it can't be mine. Cause I can walk just fine. Okay. Um. No one needs to get that. Okay. This ain't scary. Just a T shape of a hallway with a bunch of pictures and lights and stuff. I had to do that. Okay, um, close the door. And here's a mini version of that. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. 
Come on. Nothing in there. Um. I don't know what to make out of that one. Wait. Is that the same? Yeah, they're the same. <gasps> okay, so... If it goes repeat on the same way, like I get sent back to that same spot, then that means I don't have to go to this one. I just go to. Yep. Okay, I'm going this way. Honey, we need to call the light company. Oh. Okay. Forget I said anything. Nice expression and like, uh -huh, wonder if you actually crap your pants. Uh, okay, I don't know what's that supposed to mean. Okay. Nothing. So, oh. <laughs> okay, I see something there. Lovely picture, except you can't see the face. Okay, got to get the key. I don't see one to move, but... Okay. Okay, so I got another key. Which means I can go to the next room now. Oh. I guess he wanted to go for a walk. But he couldn't get it from me, but... Okay. Let's see what this one is. Not 
nothing. But there's gonna be something. I'm in that guy's room again. Let's see. This is a closet, so that means would this be the? It's much louder. Honey, what in the world are you doing? Hmm? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. But this is a lovely plea. I mean, this is, I mean, she wants to play it. Maybe to make you feel better. And there's no reflection. <laughs> Can't afford a new one? <laughs> Why the dang leg? Well, maybe it's holier than anything. Uh... I guess that's for playing that record. Just to want to make sure, though, there's anything else I'm missing. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Come on. Oh, it's playing the wrong way. Okay, here comes the decay. Or is it just me? I don't think it's more of a decay, more as a warp. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? I don't know. Okay, so... Wait... Something was happening when... Come on. Come on. Oh. 
Ah, oh, come on. I don't know if that's only it that, that I could do. But every... Come on. Come on. Something was happening here. That hole wasn't up there, so... I don't know what... Could I be... Could that be it? Nope. Fixed it. Some of it. Everything had some, I think, oil? But it's enough to. Yes! We can get out of that crazy room. We're in the, uh... I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You're sweating and shaking all night. And now that you are locked in your workshop as usual, this whole torture artist nonsense has got to stop. Yep, dude. There's got to be more achievement things on this. And there's my reflection. Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. Some liquid courage for your grand art opening. I guess this is like a flask. Come on. And that thing. I honestly don't know if we're ever going to go back to that room again. Hate even now, lost alone. You deserve it. A grave for you. Finish it. Alright. Oh. 
Huh. Looks like either a rotting turkey or or a grotesque cave with a tree on top. I think an image will appear soon when time check comes. Form emerges. I think I could probably stop here now. Um, only because I only got a few more minutes before I head to work. And I'm okay with that. It's better to just kind of set this up right now for Friday the 13th. Yay! But I don't know. Something tells me that either I'm the murderer or the wife is the murderer. Because it's showing that around somewhere in the beginning there is some health issue. So, depending on who it is, I mean, this gotta be like a what if, what kind of, heck, I don't know, what the kind of motion that we're in. Or maybe it's some sort of craziness. I don't know. It's just depending. So. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean. We're back. We're going. We're going to probably come back in the. In another. Setting video. Possibly in the weekend. So. I know I said I was supposed to post this every Wednesday. But consider this is Friday the 13th and it's supposed to be scary time um scary night which of course it's not night it's day um I would say yeah so as of now we gotta see and wait until next video's upcoming which will be posted hopefully on Wednesday if not maybe I'll decide to post this on a later day uh, which might be Saturday or Sunday. Um, it just depends on if I get any likes on this video. So, if you actually do enjoy some of these, uh, experiences I'm going through, uh, just hit the subscribe, uh, on my channel and hit the bell notification so you can see all the updates and all the upcoming videos. Without further ado, y'all have a nice day.